Hey man, I just finished this game, it's so good. <laughs> uh, I've finished this game too, but I've never, beaten, I've never beaten it in hero mode, which is what I'm playing today, so it's going to be way harder than a regular playthrough. I don't think I'm ready for it, to be honest with you. Not ready for hero mode. Mm. Hero mode sucks. You don't like it? Mm. I know the pain. <laughs> Have you beat hero mode? I believe in you, you can do it. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. We'll see if I can or not. <laughs> I've never tried it before. Giuseppe. A very sophisticated name you have. We're have to mess up this cat right now. I'm sorry, Benoit. I'm sorry, Benoit. I'm sorry. I love you. Hey, Benoit, die. Die. Die, Benoit, die. 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 All right. You can sit on stools and tree stumps to restore her. That's going to come in very handy. to come in very handy thank you for that advice that's clutch crucial advice there good advice
treasure chest. <laughs> should, I go, should I go back for it? What's even in it? What's even in that chest? What? Rupees? Do I need it? Am I gonna die if I don't get that chest? Should I go back for it? Alright, we'll go back. Alright. We'll go back for the chest. <laughs> Do I need it? 20 bucks? Yeah, I already came back. It's already too late. Look what you made me do. <laughs> Look what you made me do. 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually might need that money uh, later on, so thank you. Thank you. Went back. We did the right thing, okay? I was at gunpoint, but we did the right thing. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Jake, I, uh, there was a lot going on, but I did see you say, I need to do a Twilight Princess run again. I didn't forget about you. I saw it. I just didn't have a chance to get to it yet. And you should, you really should. I, I was thinking was actually, there is a multiplayer mod for Twilight Princess, and I was thinking that maybe me, you, and Calypso should run multiplayer Twilight Princess together. Just a thought. Just a thought. No. An idea. Your people? What does she mean by that? Exactly. Your people. Fee is racist. The other guy was saying Zelda. No, no, no. Fee, Fi, Oh, Fum is racist. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yup, yup. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Oh, ooh, oh, 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 buddy. Yup, yup. Okay, bro. Go to the Twitch chat, yup. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in the divine light. Your Skyward Strike is now at maximum strength. Pepsi Plays, thank you for the follow, thank you. Oh, it's the same, it's Giuseppe. Ah, ah. Ah. Thank you for uh, going over to Twitch and following me. Giuseppe Pepsi Plays. Which one should I call you, Giuseppe or Pepsi Plays? You tell me. Full strength goddess strike equals overpowered in bosses. I'll have to try that. What about a jump full strength goddess strike? If I jumped in the middle of it, what does that do? Does that add anything? No, it does more damage if you spin it. I'm pretty sure jump attacks do more damage than uh, spin attacks, though. Regular jump attacks do more damage than regular spin attacks, so... You would think... Maybe... Just maybe... <laughs> a, a goddess strike... A goddess jump attack would be more powerful than a goddess... Full strength spin attack. Maybe... Maybe. Maybe. You never know. So you know. Sorry, I don't know the full story. No, that's okay, buddy. That's all right. Yeah, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna show you how to do this entire game, and we're gonna upload this on my YouTube eventually. The abridged version, the one where he's a drunk. Just get off the road, you bum. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Get off the street, you bum. Alright, so now we have a better sword. Yeah. 
trashy one that we had earlier. Wait, where he's a drunk. <laughs> he's a drunk. It's Link, and he's a drunk. <laughs> and he's, he's drinking on his way home in the middle of the road, and the guy says, Get out of the way, you bum. There's a few extra words in there that I won't say now, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a Neryl <laughs> or Neryl YouTube video. Go look at Neryl's uh, Skyward Sword video on YouTube. Pretty funny. I'm pretty sure that's where that's from. Don't forget, if you talk to one of the instructors before you go to the first region, he will give you a free wooden shield, you say. Free wooden shield, huh? Definitely gonna have to try that. What was that? The hell was that noise? Do you guys hear that? It was something. Something was going on there. I don't know what. I know the dad thinks the prophecy involves raining tacos falling from the sky. <laughs> Tacos raining, raining tacos falling from the sky. What is that, supposed to be some kind of slur, huh? You think you can just come in here because I'm Mexican and you can just tell me this game's about raining tacos because there's just a Mexican playing this game? Is that what, is that what, is that what it looks like to you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yes. You know, I wasn't asking you, okay? I wasn't I wasn't asking you. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. I'm just kidding. It was just a joke, okay? Sorry. Don't cancel me. <laughs> All right, let's get that free shield that we were told about by uh, Mr. Pepsi Plays himself. Mr. Pepsi's better than Coke himself. Wooden shield, first bottle in the bazaar, and venture pouch. Spoilers! Spoilers! How can you trust anyone with those lips? <laughs> Are you talking about him? Link. 
I think his lips are worse. The guy Ling's talking to, Fledge. <laughs> Look at these lips, dude. Like a whoopee cushion. Two whoopee cushions. And then the pepperoni stuck to his cheeks on each side. Look at that. And then the sweatpants tucked into the Uggs. With flowers on it. And then he has knockoff Uggs. Like, look at, look at my boots compared to his. What are those? Okay, we got the adventure pouch. I believe it's Owl that gives you the shield, no? Pretty sure. Dr. Howl. Pepperoni! <laughs> we have full Uggs. Yeah, exactly. Not that knockoff stuff. Not that off-brand stuff. Howl might be up here. Build and potion. No, he's not up here. Where is Howl at? Do we know? Do we know where uh, Professor Howl is? I've grown attached to Fee. Don't. Okay, don't do it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but don't. It's a bad idea. You played the game before this? What happened in the game before this, huh? Outside on the first floor, okay. Because we're both annoying. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a trap. Here, take this with you. A shield. We're attached to Navi. My own Twilight Princess. Exactly. 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 What happens to Navi? You go eat magic mushrooms in the forest, in the woods, and fantasize about the moon crushing a imaginary world for three days while you look for her and she's not even there. You can't play it. Why can't you play it? Is it scratched? I miss Navi. We all do. I miss rolling. You know what I miss? I miss rolling. That's what I miss. I miss being able to do this in Zelda games. That's something... In the new games, they don't have, and I, I don't know why. Why why don't they have rolling? It's been in every 3D Zelda game, except for the new ones. No, no rolling in Breath of the Wild. Look at that. One of the first days, 72 hours left. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful rolling. You can't do this. You can't do it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, keep me on, keep me on track. <laughs> I'll get too distracted. <laughs> I'll get too distracted. Point me, keep pointing me in the right direction here. The mask stares into your soul. Hopefully, uh. Not as much as this guy staring into my soul. Holy cow. Yeah. 
Hello, lady. Ocean lady! Gives you free bottle. <laughs> it does every time I start the game. Yeah, and it makes that noise and it blows your TV speakers out. As it's getting closer and closer to the screen. <laughs> Bare empty bottle. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. And that's it. Right. Go ahead and put our shield on. Cool. Play the Switch version. Oh, the Nintendo 64 version on uh, Switch. I have the GameCube version and the Wii U version. The HD remaster. Can I hit this bell? No, huh? Can't do it yet. All right. I think it's time for us to go down and quit dilly dallying. It's time for us to quit dilly dallying. Get to work here. I don't have a nunchuck. What? I have a nunchuck. They're not that expensive, are they? Look, I got one right here. Freaking brand new. It still has the wrap on it. Look at that. Brand spanking new. And you're really missing out. have rage issues. You broke your nunchuck? I have rage issues. At Zelda? How do you rage at Zelda? Zelda is such a relaxing game. Broke a controller. First area, baby. I hate the imprisoned, or like I call them, the walking avocado. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate how you have to do this fight like 30 times before you beat the game. That's one of, it's, this is definitely one of the low points of the game. For sure. Controls or a boss, yeah. Yeah, the GameCube version of Twilight Princess is the best version. That one and the Wii U version are the best versions. I never really liked the Wii version. Simply because of the uh, motion controls. They're just not, like, realistic. Like, this one, you know, for instance. Like, I can turn the sword there. You can see that, you know. Can't do that in the Wii version of Twilight Princess. It's like the the motion controls kind of feel gimmicky at that point. I'd, I'd much rather prefer just to play with a regular controller. But that's just me. You know, everyone has their own preference. Expired Pamble 30 times? No, it's not actually 30 times. I... I want to say it's like five times, maybe even six. How many times is it, Pepsi Plays? How many times do you have to fight him, actually? I'm pretty sure it's like five times.
Three. Three. Yeah, maybe I'm just um exaggerating a lot. <laughs> I think. I thought it was at least four, honestly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's 20 games. Twenty games. I can't play any of them. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's go down here. This is our first time fighting him. Which Link is the most traumatized at the end? The most traumatized Link at the end. I would honestly say Over time, my opinion, rolling back in time, lost a friend and fell into a random world where the moon is falling. I was gonna say Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. Uh, because he literally watches like this girl because he's Wind Waker, you know? Like he watches like this girl become Zelda and then die and then has to become a ghost and work with him like I feel like that's the most traumatizing experience out of any of the Link's experience in my opinion but yeah that's a good answer to Ocarina of Time for sure I just think it's the spirit track Phantom Hourglass Link He's a pirate, too. Like, he's a pirate. She dies. It's just there's so much more going on there, in my opinion. Oh, Wind Waker, yeah. Wind Waker's pretty good. That's all one link, though. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's those three together. I relate to Ocarina Lonk. <laughs> I thought we fought this guy right here, but I guess we don't. Yoink. Yoink. I love that this is running in 60 FPS in the remake, though. It feels so smooth. <laughs> 60 FPS, 1080p. Amazing. Hashtag annoying. <laughs> I, re I remember despising this guy. Like, he's just the worst. He's a little six inch sub. This lady really, he really braided her butthole hairs all the way up around her forehead and down her face. 
Imagine being shot out of a cannon. First fight is in a while. Yeah, annoying. I love the faces everyone makes. Yeah, this, they did a great job with the facial expressions in this game, for sure. And the emotions that everyone portrays. they You can really catch the emotions of everyone in this one. Kind of crazy because this game was, like, poorly received. You can make memes out of them. Yeah, this game was poorly received when it came out. Remember, people did not like it. Link is most dead at the end. <laughs> Behind those eyes is nothing but pain and suffering. <laughs> Like we can place a beacon now. Yay. Oh. I have to put it over the X. Okay. But messing around here. Am I thing gonna die? Or what? Okay. Relax. Relax. If he does, he comes back as a different... Uh, what do you mean? What exactly do you mean by that? We can see our beacon that we set on the map all the way up through the sky. You can see there's a Goron here getting punked by some thugs. This thing dies, Pilot Princess will take its place. Uh, this happens before Ocarina of Time, actually. This game takes place before Ocarina of Time, believe it or not. fact i don't like lore <laughs> you don't like lore <laughs> why don't you like lore what's wrong with lore what about made up lore what about pretend lore ruins the magic of the games i don't know i don't think it does does it 
Would you rather it be like all one link or how would you set up the lore? How would you set up the game to be? I love the made up lore better than the official. <laughs> how, what would your lore be for all of the games? How would you string them all together? Is it all one link? Is it all just direct descendants? Is it all just his great-great-grandkids? They just have a son every time? And that son's the next link? How does it work? By release date. That's the order of... Sometimes the rabbit hole goes too deep, though. Exactly, exactly. I think it's fun to have a good mixture of both, you know? Ooh. Have the fake lore and the real lore. Save the game here. Save to that file. Okay, I think that's where we're going to call this stream for now. Uh, it was a nice live stream. Oh, swinging. <laughs> I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, currently, we've been doing Pokemon Soul Silver, so if that's something that you would like to see, go check it out on the YouTube. It was my last live stream, or on Twitch, it's right here, my last VOD. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. We're going to be playing this more, playing more Skyward Sword, and I have some Call of Duty Zombies maybe lined up for tonight, maybe. Uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Zombies tonight with We'll Get a Squad On. Uh, it's going to be pretty fun, I think. So, stay tuned for all of that. Like I said, I'm up the vines at Make a Fast Travel with... Yeah, we're going to get off right now. Sorry. We're going to get off right now. Uh, we will be back to play this some more. I'm, I really love this game. This is a great game. One of the best Zelda games out there, for sure. Um... Yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.